if you're here, you're wondering, what is the cost of living on Aruba? Well, luckily for you, Lori and I lived in Aruba for six months, and in today's video, we're gonna summarize kind of the major cost of living items that we incurred mm -hmm. while living in the tropical paradise of Aruba. Hey everyone, welcome back to Plan Free. We're Air and Lori. So as Air mentioned, we're gonna summarize the seven areas that we incurred a monthly cost on while we lived for one winter in Aruba. And then at the end of the video, we'll give you a total for a monthly cost. If you're an expat or someone who's looking to maybe even move there, perhaps this information will help you. The first area that we wanna share with you is that of housing and accommodations, which I think is probably at the foremost of everyone's mind. The way it worked out in this case is the year previous we were living in Curacao for six months. Somewhere in there we took a four day vacation over to Aruba knowing that probably this coming year we're going to live in Aruba for six months. And during that four day mini vacation we started looking for places to live the following year. Mm -hmm. You can catch above the video we made on Curacao. So when we went to go look at the apartments, we rented a car for four days and drove around the island and looked at a dozen apartments. And we did find one that we liked. It was in the San Barbola area. And we negotiated with the landlord. Would he, would he give us a lower rate if we rented for six months? And he said, yes, he would, as long as we were willing to sign a contract, no problem. So we actually secured that little two bedroom, one bathroom apartment for 800 US per month. And I mentioned the San Barbola area. That was a great area. For us, it was well away from the resort tourist packed area, but it was close to the, the Costco, it's called Price Smart, close to our car insurance place, close to the gym, close to the dentist. It was perfect for us. Yeah, it was less of the tourist facade and it was more kind of behind the curtain, living with and amongst the locals, yeah. which is our tendency to prefer anyways. And probably one big reason why we got a, a decent monthly rent. Mm -hmm, exactly. So the second area that we incurred a cost was a car. We looked at renting and we can afford that, but we did not want to. So we looked online and found a car and decided to buy it. Her name is Clara, named after the lady we bought it from. We bought it for 5,300 florins, which is 2,800 US dollars. And we sold it the week before we left Aruba for 2,000 US dollars. So our total out-of-pocket cost for a car for six months in Aruba was? $800. <laughs> 800 US dollars such a good deal. We did of course have uh, insurance costs and license plate and stuff but it was really minimal and to be honest I actually lost track of my receipts for that. Go figure. I keep everything. The third area that we incurred costs on is gasoline and we're gonna call this negligible. For us that little car we filled up mm, once a month it was just negligible. The cost of gasoline right now in Aruba is $1.35 per liter. They sell it by the liter in Aruba which is about $5.40 per gallon. Okay, time to eat. The fourth area of expense that we incurred in Aruba was food. I know we eat at home, we eat here, but I just still like to know the cost of things. What's a loaf of bread and all that. We incurred a monthly cost when I averaged all our receipts up, an average monthly cost for food of 650 US dollars in Aruba. And that was from a variety of locations. Uh, we do eat out, but not very often but there were restaurant receipts in there. There was the, the big price mart. It's kind of like a Costco. We went there quite a bit, but to be honest, we shop where our neighbors shop, um, kind of locally. And there was grocery stores called Ling and & Sons um, and another other little fruits and veggie markets. And that's kind of our favorite. So the fifth area of cost that we didn't even incur, but I'm listing it here because it's the coolest fact about Aruba, now, if you have, or maybe you haven't been to Aruba, Aruba is very dry, very arid, and they have actually no fresh water supply of their own. So they desalinate ocean water. And through their process, there's no chlorine. It, it's actually been called the champagne of water. So we didn't have to lug around the big five gallon um, jugs of water. It was just so nice to drink the water right from the tap. So haha, -ha, tricked you. <laughs> <laughs> There's no expense for water, but it's such a cool tip that I just wanted to share that with you guys. And it was delicious water. It was delicious. Like champagne. Yeah. I'll share with you a little bit of context here before we lead into our sixth point of costs. And that is, we've been slow traveling internationally, living in different countries for six months a year for the past 12 years. And so we don't really um, need or want to behave like tourists very much. We really just want to live our normal everyday life in a nice climate as compared to Northern Canada where we're from and born. 
And so, because we've been doing it for so long, we don't go out and light our hair on fire with every single tour out there. We just don't feel like we need to do it anymore. And so with that, here's our number six point. Entertainment. We did one tour, I can't even call it a tour because we didn't book it with any kind of company and we toured ourselves. But we went. We wanted to do something uh, tour-esque. We rented quads with friends and we just did it on our own. We went all over the island, we could stop when we wanted to, swim a little longer here, go to the restaurants we wanted to and all that. So we really just rented a quad for the day and then did what we wanted. I did not keep the receipt for that so I can't tell you what the pricing on renting a quad is today, but again, a quick Google search and you'd get that information. 100 bucks. Okay, 100 bucks. So for the purposes of this video though, we're just gonna say that our entertainment amount is 20 US a month. We don't do anything. Well, we do lots of cool stuff. <laughs> yeah, we do. Like we're, stuff we're is always so at the, cool, we're, but. <laughs> we're always hiking or we're always at the beach. Literally, we're always doing something, but we're either meeting the people locally or we're doing something that's really unique to that island and it's not with a guide, generally speaking. Right. Do, do it if you want to. We actually have a video on that too. And keep in mind, we're not on vacation when we're in these spots. So for example, five days a week, I'm sitting on the computer editing this video for you. Yes. Now smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, moving right along to our final area where we incurred a cost was the gym. Aruba was just so um, well developed and had so much infrastructure. There were, so were you. Thank you. Mm. There were lots of gyms to choose from and the one we chose was called DFC Gym. The gym had a two tier pricing system. The higher tier was $50 a month and the lower tier was 30 US dollars a month per person. We chose the lower because it was a restricted time frame, Monday to Friday, nine to five, you could use the gym, that's perfect for us. But for the higher price, 50 US a month, you could go 5 a.m. to 10 p.m., weekends and all of that. When it was so busy, we were happy to get the lower price and the restricted hours. It just fit our lifestyle really well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so to sum everything up, um, I tricked you when I said we had seven areas to talk about. We really had five because remember, I'm not including gasoline and I'm not including the free delicious water. We really had five areas that we're gonna include in our total monthly um, budget for you to consider. We had our housing, our car, food, entertainment, and the gym. For us, that totaled 1,663 US for the month. We'll just call it 1650. The idea of this video and sharing these numbers with you is twofold. To give you an idea of what the cost of living might look like in Aruba when you're living, you know, like a local, like a non-tourist for a longer term, like in our example, six months. And it's also to share with you out there, you might be wondering, can you do Aruba on a budget? And we're living proof and illustration to show you that, yes, you can do and live in Aruba on a budget. And hopefully we helped you see that here. If you want to learn more about Aruba, we recommend you watch this video next. I have nothing else to say. <laughs>